Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's weather forecast, I will be covering the southeast rain and snowfall with significant rain and snow accumulations likely, then two big storms next week with a severe weather outbreak with also some heavy snow. Then we'll look into the long-range weather forecast. Will it remain active to the end of the month of February? All those questions and much more here coming up in this forecast. Looking out here at the alerts this morning, we have winter storm watches across the western Carolinas and in particular western North Carolina here towards the Asheville, North Carolina area this morning for significant snow accumulations. And it's all due to the storm system here coming up from the southwest. We got the rain down here across portions of Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Florida through the day today, but that will spread farther northeast getting into Sunday, but it will be bringing some severe weather as well across North Florida with a slight risk for severe storms with a few tornadoes possible with a 5% shading of tornadoes later today in Florida and also a damaging wind risk as well with a 60 mile per hour wind risk with this as well going through later on today. That will be spreading northeast over over the day on Sunday with heavy rain from Virginia down through the Carolinas, but a narrow swath of some significant snow accumulations will be possible across western North Carolina, especially the Asheville, North Carolina area, as we go through the day on Sunday. But if you guys are with me on this on this video, do not forget to uh, subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button to get all of my daily weather forecast updates each and every morning at 9 a.m. Also hit it as well, the like button down below. It's the thumbs up button to spread all of this weather information out to more and more people here on YouTube. I definitely would appreciate it. But going through the day today, we got this big area of spiraling low pressure down here across the central Gulf Coast states this afternoon, but that will be spreading across Georgia into South Carolina going through the day on Sunday and then revolving up the East Coast as we go into the Monday, February 13th time frame and just off the coast by Monday afternoon during that time. Also going into Sunday, we will be seeing some colder temperatures wrapping around the backside of this low pressure system and just enough so that we will have some very heavy, wet, slushy snow back across the higher elevations here, especially here near the Smoky Mountains and the Appalachian chain into the Asheville, North Carolina region into Western North Carolina through the day on Sunday. Temperatures will be in the middle to possibly upper 30s in this area, very marginal cold temperatures, and we'll start to see some snowfall. But not before around the noon time frame, we have some flooding rains to deal with down here across Alabama, getting into southwestern Georgia, northwest Florida here. And also a few of these storms could be feisty as well, especially in the North Florida as the swings across portions of the area going through this afternoon with some damaging winds and a few isolated tornadoes definitely possible here as we go through the afternoon today. That will lift up on Sunday morning around 6 a.m. across portions of the Carolinas and with that cold air in place, it will be very shallow cold air, so a narrow zone of some sleet, possibly some very light freezing drizzle, but also some heavy wet and slushy snow will be falling across western North Carolina Sunday morning that will continue into the afternoon as the rain spreads up into Virginia there and into portions of Maryland by three o'clock and then we'll kick the storm off the coast as we head through Sunday evening around 11 o'clock. Looking at the snowfall totals from Sunday into Monday with this, again, a very narrow zone in, of snowfall here. So some big winters near the Asheville, North Carolina region into western North Carolina here and getting into maybe far eastern portions there of Tennessee. We could be seeing anywhere from about three to six plus inches of snow in a very narrow zone there, but much more widespread will be the heavy rain from today all the way through Monday. We could be seeing at least an inch of rain anywhere in this purple shady color from Virginia down here into North Florida and then back across Alabama with even some areas into Eastern Georgia into Southern South Carolina near the Savannah, Georgia area, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We could be seeing over two inches of rain going through this weekend. And that is of concern will be the flash flooding threat with that marginal to slight risk for flash flooding there from southern South Carolina through much of coastal Georgia and then getting back into the northwest Florida panhandle getting through this weekend. 
but much more of us will be seeing mild temperatures this weekend as well. So do enjoy Super Bowl uh, weekend, especially this afternoon here on Saturday, February 11th. A lot of 40s, a lot of 50s out here across the heartland of the country. And that will continue with even warmer temperatures, especially across Texas, getting into Oklahoma with much more widespread middle to upper 60s for Super Bowl Sunday on February 12th. And a lot more 40s and 50s spreading farther northeast, getting through. Super Bowl Sunday itself but it's ahead of this next storm system we got two major storms going into next week the first trough will be swinging down here towards the Four Corners region and West Texas on Monday. And right on its heels, we got another more significant and elongated trough farther northwest from there into the Pacific Northwest and the southwestern Canada on Monday, February 13th. The first trough will start to eject across the mid-Mississippi Valley towards Illinois by the time we get towards Tuesday, February 14th. And again, looking at precipitation with this, going into Monday here, we got some higher elevation snows back into southern Colorado, north central portions of New Mexico. Maybe some light showers and sprinkles out here across the panhandle there of Texas around the Amarillo area. But by the time we get into Tuesday the 14th on Valentine's Day, we'll have this low pressure start to take shape somewhere across Nebraska or South Dakota and we'll start to see a cold front swinging its way eastward with heavy rain. Maybe some isolated severe weather across the Missouri Valley down through the Arklatex regions here towards Little Rock and Shreveport. And looking at the temperatures on Tuesday here, it will be rather mild out ahead of the system here uh, uh, preceding that cold front so we'll definitely have a lot of warmer air we're not seeing much snowfall even on the northern side of this system here any snow that it does drop will actually be across portions of the northern Rockies, and really even that is not that impressive going through that time frame. But we will be seeing some heavy rainfall starting on Monday, going into the day on Tuesday. That will start across southern Kansas, getting through much of Oklahoma, including the Oklahoma City area, and then down into north Texas, including the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, getting through that Monday and the Monday night time frame, and then waking up on Tuesday morning. That will be spreading up farther north and east from there on Tuesday afternoon into the Wednesday morning time frame. Anywhere in these darker greens and even darker blues, we could be seeing at least a half inch to near three quarters of an inch of rain. That will be spreading up here into portions of Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, and back into southwestern Wisconsin, getting towards the middle of next week. And looking at this from a severe weather perspective, we do have the kinematics in place. We have that strong mid-level jet rounding the base of that trough, as well as a more robust low-level jet here on Tuesday. But what will be lacking for more widespread severe weather outbreak on Tuesday will be the dew points. We're going to see limited moisture return out ahead of the cold front, and that will kind of stabilize the atmosphere just enough to prevent us from having a severe weather outbreak. However, there could be some isolated uh, strong to severe storms down here towards coastal Texas into southwestern Louisiana here from Shreveport back through Houston and the Victoria, Texas area we may have to watch on Tuesday. But our next major system is waiting in the wings back to the west we got another large trough probably more significant system than the one uh, just ahead of it um, early on in the week that will be swinging down here to west texas and the southern plains on wednesday before again taking a similar path and ejecting across the upper Midwest and the mid-Mississippi Valley on Thursday, February 16th, late in the week. Looking at this, surface cyclogenesis here with the low pressure right over the Texas panhandle here will assure us some colder air wrapping around the backside, maybe some front range rocky type of snowfall back here across the Denver, Colorado area, getting back here into western portions of Kansas. Uh, out ahead of that, we got the warm air, so some warm air Infection type of sprinkles and showers, not too big of a deal through the day on Wednesday. Overnight, though, it does turn a little stormier across the deep south. We may have to watch for severe weather. The northwestern side of the system, another narrow zone of some very heavy wet snow across Iowa, southwestern and central portions of Wisconsin here from Madison, back through Prairie du Chien, Des Moines, Iowa. 
and then stretching its way back at least to the northern side of the Kansas City metro area before it sweeps off to the northeast on Friday. But preceding the system, we're going to have a very strong trough. That We have a very strong mid-level jet rounding the base of this trough, and that does concern me for some severe weather as well with a little bit of a low-level jet out ahead of that across the Tennessee Valley and the Dixie Alley region going through late in the week. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center's Day 5 outlook on Wednesday has a slight risk from portions of Memphis, back through Little Rock here, getting into Shreveport, Baton Rouge, and even back as far west as the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex on Wednesday. And then that just gets a little bit more widespread and pushes east on Thursday the 16th, stretching from near the Evansville, Indiana area, down through Kentucky, Middle Tennessee near Nashville, much of Mississippi, Alabama, getting into western Georgia, and then all the way far south to the Gulf of Mexico we go with severe weather on Thursday. But the northwestern side of the system will be sweeping in that colder air. We got a stronger low pressure system, I think, than we had earlier on in the week. So we're going to allow some of that cold air to wrap in on the back side. And a narrow zone, at least on the high resolution guidance for the European model, late in the week for at least six inches of snow here from central Wisconsin, back through southwest Wisconsin, central Iowa, and then getting back into the central plains. Very similarly is the GFS model, a little bit farther west with the track, but just generally still, those amounts are still pretty impressive looking at this. So a heavy snowstorm is possible later on next week. We'll be fine-tuning that. But also looking at the GEFS, the ensembles here uh, to the GFS, still showing a pretty similar track with that, as well as the Canadian guidance. So it does offer that, yes, the snowstorm confidence is there. It is likely that we see a snowstorm from the upper Great Lakes back through portions of Wisconsin, through Iowa, getting into the central plains, back towards Nebraska and Kansas. It's possible it could go as far south as northern Oklahoma, northern Missouri, or northern Illinois, but much more likely uh, farther north and west from Chicago you go, and also from Detroit you go with the track of the system late in the week. But to the south, we are going to still see heavy rain yet again across the portions of the deep south into the mid-south here on Wednesday into Thursday. Rainfall amounts will be averaging around a half to three quarters of an inch there. And then that will be spreading farther north with much more widespread heavy rainfall event from the Ohio Valley, the mid-Atlantic southward to the Gulf of Mexico with widespread one to two inch rainfall amounts here from Ohio down through portions of the Mobile, Alabama region through Thursday into Friday time frame. By the time we get to next weekend, though, on Saturday, we will be quieting down. Look how quiet the country gets. This is due to the very dominating high pressure system we have start to work in during that time frame. So lots more sunshine can be expected. And the long range weather pattern actually does show more of a reload type of pattern. We have the eastern two thirds of the country dominated by the ridge again, going through February 18th through the 24th time frame. And then another trough swinging in out west with below normal temperatures during this period. So we're going to reload the atmosphere going into the following week on Sunday, February 19th with the warmer anomalies starting to return across the east, colder anomalies out west, and it really continues eerily similar pattern as we go towards Monday, February 20th here, going in towards the following week. And it looks like we're going to have another possible low pressure system and major trough start to dig down across the west and eventually eject across the Midwest or portions of the mid-Mississippi Valley on Monday, February 20th, or even into Tuesday, February 21st. And that could bring another potential for heavy snow with a low pressure track from the Southern Plains through the Ohio Valley into Eastern Canada. Heavy snow swath is up here from the upper Great Lakes through the Midwest and getting into the Central Plains again. And then heavy rainfall will be possible from the I-95 corridor south and westward here through much of the East Coast and the Gulf Coast here as we go through that February 18th through the 24th time frame. Also, the Climate Prediction Center does agree that, yes, there's a moderate chance that we have some heavy rainfall across the Mid-South going through the 18th and the 24th time frame, as well as that heavy snow swath up here across the Central Great Lakes, down through potentially the Chicagoland area, and then farther southwest from there into northern portions of Oklahoma and into Kansas during the 18th. 
18th through the 24th time frame as we go towards late February. Well, to recap my weather forecast, southeast rain and snow today with significant rain and snow accumulations likely. Two big storms next week with a severe weather outbreak and heavy snow as well looming. And then the long range weather forecast does remain active towards the end of February with more snowstorms and severe weather possible with heavy rain as we get through the very end of February. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Definitely appreciate it. Remember to like the video down below, give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Saturday, everybody. A great rest of your weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.